Turner fam. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. So, spent all weekend throwing my bait caster probably, you know, a hundred thousand times. Ended up catching the cash in the check. If you ain't watched that video, go check it out. We're gonna change it up today, go look, do a little bit different. I'm uh, I put my rod holders back on the John boat. We can go out there and troll for some crappy, see if we can catch some with some minnows. If not, we'll pick up a jig and throw a jig as we're doing it. See how long it's gonna take us to get a limit. I ain't got no bass rods in the boat. Today is all about me and you. We're going on a fishing trip, relaxing, catching a limit of fish, and having a good time. So, if you haven't already, hit that red button down below. It says subscribe. And when you hit that button, I'm gonna be like, hey, thank you. Let's go catch a crappy, guys. <laughs> I'm here, dude. Oh, nice little channel cat. I mean, it's fun, but oh, normally they'll go through crappy and scare them off but this guy is going in the live wheel with the other two crappy all right so i'm gonna say it's a no-go for this dog I'm gonna go ahead to another spot and see if we can't get on some slabs. I don't know, I mean, the water's really calm and they're pulling water, so Black's Bridge may be pretty good. And there is striper literally everywhere. I don't know if they're big, but God, they're jumping. There we go. <clears throat> Little guy. Should keep them. Oh, let me get the old measuring board. No, he is eight and he is 794 or something like that. <laughs> He's like half a centimeter under the line. All good. I was like the second cast here, so maybe they can be here. I mean, we're going to get 20 today. Whether they 8 inches or 12 inches, I don't care. A lot of people get mad you keep all the 8 inches, but... I mean, in my opinion, it's like a bass. You got to keep some little ones every now and then to get some big ones. And this is just a fun trip out here. Show you guys some crappy, have a good time, get my mind off bass fishing, get ready for this tournament coming up next month. There's one right there. See, that's fun. That should be a keeper. I don't know. We're going to have to measure him too. Normally if you crappy fish a lot, like if I do it for like a couple weeks, I can tell what is eight inches and what is not. But right now, can't do it. <laughs> I 
Nope. Same as the other one. Barely under. <laughs> oh, that was a chunky one, too. should keep it's gonna go out on a limb so this one should keep <laughs> i'm probably wrong <laughs> i don't know he kind of looks smaller than the other ones and well, well we might get one. Oh yeah all right number three well, what don't make no sense is I got a minnow right there in their face, and I done caught three crappy back to back on the jig. But I ain't had a bite on that minnow yet. No idea. I don't know if that minnow's dead or not. It shouldn't be, I just put him on when I got here. I ain't been here for like five minutes. There's one right there. <laughs> they in here, boy. They keep her size barely. I'm fine with that, like I said earlier. That ain't nothing but a thing. I mean, yeah, you get bigger slabs on the other one, but when you can't find the bigger slabs, what you gonna do? Yep, that one touches. So that's number four. This ain't taking. I like when they bite like this. Sit here, talk to you guys. Let that jig go down. Y'all can see what I'm doing, which is virtually nothing. Like a lot of people be complicating crab fishing. You know, you gotta do all these certain techniques. No. 90% of the time, you can let that dang jig fall and bump it a couple times, a little twitch up and down about you know once every 10 20 seconds and you will catch a crappy now there's a, a lot of like watching your line knowing when you get a bite when they don't bite it that's where the skill comes in now if they thumping the crap out of it anybody can catch them anybody anybody can catch this brush pile too <laughs> but that's what i'm fishing guys i mean i mean i'm right next to the bank don't get me wrong but it's like 17 foot with the water down right here normally it's 20 21 foot give or take and it's just an old brush pile this thing's been here for years and some days they're on it some days they ain't that's pretty much how crappy fishing is you just got to find spots that produce. And when you get enough spots in the area you like to fish, you just got to hit them, hit them like, a, like a road map until you figure out what they're on. And then you go from there. See, I just came off the brush, so I should get nailed. Maybe not. We got to back off of it, I believe. Make a little pitch right here. Back off of it. I'm surprised that minute didn't get hung. There's a limb that comes up that likes to get you. Oh, he's gone with it right there. <laughs> that feels like a decent one. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Nice little fat one. Oh, he don't look big, dude. They got some big old bellies, but they ain't long. Nope, under eight. Dang it. <laughs> we have to weed out the smaller ones, I guess, today. So before this video starts, I really just want to talk about my setup. Now, this is the same setup I normally use 100% of the time. Unless it's my jig poles and stuff. 
It's a slab tail crappie rod. It's a 410. Now, a lot of people think 410 is too small, which, I mean, I'm 6'4", and I absolutely love this rod. Just the bend, I mean, I can pitch this. I can skip any, pretty much anything under anything. And I got this loaded with a four pound Mr. Crappy line. I've got a homemade jig head that my dad makes and a Mr. Crappy, not a Mr. Crappy, a Crappy Man uh, chartreuse jig. This is uh, my dad's unique color that he makes. <clears throat> and honestly, we use this color pretty much year round. So if you're looking for a year round jig, definitely contact the Crappy Man and get you a couple of these because they definitely work, I mean, all year. So, that's my setup I'm using today. We'll catch some slabs, guys. There's a good one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Freaking choked it too. It's number six. If I can get out of him. All right. There's one. Number seven. Yeah, it was definitely a good idea to come here. <laughs> oh. Let me make sure. That's a good one too. Oh, come here. <clears throat> That's a dang slab, son. Check that one out, guys. <laughs> good 11 entry. That was number eight. He barely bit that man up here. I seen the twitch just a little bit. Just caught another one, so we're on 17. It was a freaking show. I, I should have just turned the camera on, but I just want to talk a little bit. I mean, like, well, I see a lot of other people crappy fish, like beginners and even veterans. I mean, the, the trick is honestly, you got to have your hook wet. You can't cast out there and then wind it in, cast out there and wind it in. Now there's certain times a year where that works, but most of the time a crappy feeds up, give or take. So you want that jig above his head, above the brush pile that he's in, and you've got to make him aggressively come out and eat it. Because, like, if you think about it, you're throwing your jig into the water. What are you picturing? Most people are picturing, like, a bunch of crappy in a ball, and your jig happens to go through it, and they eat it. No, most of the time, 
they're around structure they're around the stuff that you're fishing and when you take this jig and make it do all kind of crazy stuff above them they're gonna be like hey i want to kill that but it's not a it, it, it's a patience game like i use a 130 132 ounce jig head you know i may put a split shot on it sometimes but i mean this is all i use guys all my dad uses 164 he's he's a lot slower than me but he likes to cast and then wait for it to go down versus i like to get directly on top of the fish and jig straight down but i just wanted to emphasize that guys if you're out there struggling you've got to keep your jig in the strike zone so, i mean sometimes cast are four to five minutes before you 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 wind them in and cast again there's no point to wind it in and cast again if you know you're directly on top of the brush pile This is number 18. Another one on the flappy tail. I mean, sometimes you just got to change it up and get them to bite. I love that shad jig because they thump it really hard. But they love this flapper tail too. Well, hell, hell any, any crappy man jig. I mean, we don't make any jigs. Well, I say we, but... We don't really buy any jig molds that we haven't tested out completely. I mean, we ain't gonna go out and try to sell people these crazy looking jigs in all different colors. I mean, yeah, you can get whatever color you want, but if you ask us what's gonna catch a fish, this green color right here, you need to buy some because you're gonna put crappy in the boat. No doubt. Oh, he barely bit it. I thought he was small. That's a thanks brush donkey right there, guys. For number 19 or 18. I don't know. We got to count them. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't ready for that bite. That's that wintertime bite. That sucker just put it and come on thin out for me oh my god y'all look at that freaking brush donk e look at those shrapnels on the back <laughs> Woo -wee. i think we got two more or one more i'm gonna catch one more and i'm gonna count them man if i could have got them all like that steven would be happy <laughs> which i'm already happy i mean fishing's just fun guys it is just fun. And I caught him on that messed up jig. I'm telling you, I will use a jig. I will thread it on any way I can. Because y'all see that slime on that jig? They're going to be like, hmm, that smells like a fish. <laughs> I wish I already would have had the camera on when he bit. But I didn't think he was that big. But what happens this morning, I was catching him up there, you know, towards the beginning of the brush pile now they're out here i suppose but got about one more to go i put me a minute out maybe we'll catch one on it probably not they really i mean i've only caught i think three on a minute a day so definitely a waste of money today but we need to get about one more and we'll be headed to the house not a bad day at all so let's get him in the boat Eighteen. 
All right. So we got 18 of these boogers. We need two more. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> 